Yep, there we go. Got to hit the right button to get everything happening over here. Let me make sure I'm not blowing y'all out. Hey, there you go. Good morning, everybody. Time to get started with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Man, I nailed it right at 7 o'clock this morning, didn't I? Hey, doing this morning, it's, uh, let's see, what is it? Tuesday, March the 13th. Good morning, Joe. Thank you for stopping in. Um, that's, I got, I got too much stuff going on over there. I just need, need to focus. <laughs> hey, uh, so thank you all for being here. If you would do what Joe did when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, drop me a comment. Let me know that you were here. That would be awesome. Today's Tuesday. That means the radio show is coming up at uh, in an hour at 8 o'clock. I just realized I have to change the time on that clock. Um, so be sure and join me for that. I have a, a couple of guests going to join me in the studio, and it will be interesting. They do a... Uh, they do a fun little series. Although I don't know what if they've done any lately. We'll talk about it. Called uh, Fun Doug. They are the, the the eyes and the voice of Fun Doug. So uh, be sure and tune in for that. Find out who Fun Doug is if you don't know. Maybe they'll bring him. I should send them a message. Ask if they'll bring him. Yeah, still on winter time for two more weeks. So that means I'm coming in an hour earlier for you then, right, Keith? We changed over the weekend, went back to um, daylight savings time, and I a long time ago, maybe, I don't know, a long time ago, I got this fancy atomic clock that automatically sets itself, except it was before they decided to change when we would start daylight savings time. So now there's this, like, two- or three-week period where the it's all messed up. It messes me up. Anyway... We're going to get through that together. We will uh, find a way to get through. So today, yesterday, we were talking a little bit about, uh, what did I call it yesterday? Your actions betray your priority. Today, I want to talk to you about um, how your short-term thinking and short-term actions create your long-term results. And this is why... And there's a, I got one more related topic for this this week, but this is why, um, this is kind of what develops out of our topic yesterday, right? That, um, if the, the choices you make, the decisions you make, the things that you pursue on a short term basis strung together day after day after day become your long term result. And and plenty of people will sit here today and say, yep, want to make a million dollars this year and then won't make a single decision necessary in order to make that real. And then get to, you know, the beginning of the year next year or the end of the year and they're, they're looking back at results and think, well, that was stupid. I never was going to make a million. Well, right, you never were because you were not, your short-term thinking and your short-term actions, most importantly, were not what they needed to be in order to produce that result. You don't have to, it's not, well, I mean, maybe if you hit the lotto, you'll go from nothing to a million, but most people are not going to go from nothing to a million. You're not going to be sitting on the couch and have publishers excuse me, Publishers Clearinghouse, come knock on the door and say, here's your million-dollar check. Congratulations, you. That ain't going to happen, statistically speaking. So what do you do? Well, you apply your short-term thinking and short-term actions so that they achieve that outcome. This is why we talk about outcomes so much and knowing Having that vision of success, knowing what what the outcome is that you're trying to create, if you don't know those things and you can't make decisions that are helping you move in that direction, you can't make the short-term uh, action, take the short-term actions and execute short-term thinking that gets you to that long-term result. So don't think about what you have to do to make a million. Think about what you have to do to make a hundred. Right? I mean, that's a start. Let's just make a hundred bucks or 50 or 200. And let's just say, you, I, I, 
the the goal this week is a hundred bucks. Next week it's two hundred. The week after that it's two fifty. The next week is four hundred. I mean, whatever. <clears throat> but segment your thinking and segment your actions in such a way that they're achievable but challenging, and they're going to get you to that result. If you'll do that, I promise you, you'll have better results. Remember, your short-term thinking and short-term actions create your long-term outcomes. Remember the radio show coming up at 8 o'clock. That's in one hour from now. Um, Just, you know, in case your clock's all messed up like mine is. One hour from now, the radio show's coming up. Uh, Rayleigh Stevenson and Terry um, Porter going to be on the show with me. Talking about fun, Doug, marketing, chiropractic, all kinds of stuff. They're awesome. Um, they're awesome folks, and I enjoy having them on the show, just like I enjoy having you join me here every day. Enjoy having you join me here every day. Man, I clearly have not had enough coffee yet this morning, even though I've got a very large cup. It's still over halfway full. I'll have to rectify that situation before the top of the hour. Thank you for being here. Hey, Abby. Good to see you this morning also. Hey, remember, if these conversations, maybe not today's, it was a little rambling, but if these conversations help you or could help somebody you know, please consider sharing uh, the link to them uh, out to your network or to the podcast on Instagram. Uh, Not Instagram. uh, iTunes. (laughs) Instagram is completely different iTunes, Stitcher, or TuneIn, it's out there also on the YouTube channel. Just about everywhere that one might consider looking for something. I would appreciate it if you do that. All right, that's it. We'll knock it off for today. I will talk to you in an hour on the radio and back here in the morning with a Wednesday installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. You guys take care.